Hey everyone, welcome back to 5G Benchmark. Today we're diving into an exciting comparison that's crucial if you're thinking about upgrading your home internet setup. We'll test two top tier 5G routers, the ZTE MC 889A Pro and the Huawei CPE Pro 6 to see how they stack up in real world conditions. Specifically, we're looking at the difference between NSA and SA modes. Which one gives you the best speed and lowest latency? And most importantly, which router comes out on top? We've got some surprising results ahead, so let's jump right into it. First up, we're testing both routers using Operator 1, offering unlimited download speeds, but upload speed is capped at 100 megabits per second. In every scenario, including this one, we're performing measurements right in front of the base station. This helps ensure signal quality doesn't limit performance, giving us a clear look at how each router handles real-world speeds in ideal conditions. Both routers perform well in NSA mode during the first scenario. While they use slightly different combinations of available bands, the results are impressive across the board. Next, we're running the same test using SA mode. In this setup, both routers connect directly to the 5G core network using only the N78 band. This allows us to see how well each device performs when using a pure 5G connection without relying on 4G. As we can see, the performance is almost as good as NSA, even though SA mode here uses only a single frequency band. Both routers maintain strong download speeds. Next, we're testing with a second operator, which uses a different set of bands and only supports NSA mode. In this case, we're able to test two separate N78 bands, offering greater capacity for data, while the current base station has had some technical issues. Earlier tests with another base station showed the Huawei CPE Pro 6, reaching almost 300 megabits per second upload speeds. To wrap things up, both routers delivered excellent performance when operating with strong signal quality. In areas where multiple 4G bands are available, the MC889A Pro proved to be a solid and consistent performer. Meanwhile, the CPE Pro 6 truly shines when connected to high band 5G signals, showing impressive peak speeds. Interestingly, standalone 5G even when limited to a single band, delivered performance nearly on par with more complex multi-band setups on both devices. It's worth noting that all tests were done using the router's default settings, just like how most users would use them straight out of the box. Thanks for watching. This was the first video in our upcoming series of high-speed 5G tests, where we'll be putting different routers to the test in real-world conditions. In future episodes, we'll dive even deeper, including how performance changes when frequency bands are optimized using band locking. If you're interested in getting the most out of your 5G connection, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know which devices or topics you'd like us to cover next.